to another, hello, another wonderful and just, just juicy <laughs> version of Veggie Mike Ellis on the Instagrams, on the YouTubes. Uh, hello out there in internet land. Uh, <laughs> so I want to talk to you today about, I'm kind of laughing today because I think it's kind of a funny one in a, in a sense. It's just too expensive to be vegan. I can't afford to be vegan. It's just, I can't afford it. It's so expensive to be vegan. I can never afford it. I like this one. It's a first world luxury to be vegan. I like that one. It's a first world, it's, I'm so, so vegans were very luxurious apparently. We're like, oh, we're just, we just live this luxurious lifestyle. Oh, and people, we have servants bringing us. I guess they're all vegans too, the servants. Are they, are they vegans too? So if you talk to any vegan who actually lives vegan, that actually lives, actually is vegan, vegan um, and has any experience at it um, will tell you that oh guess what um, yeah it's not more expensive at all it's actually cheaper um, but it can be more expensive so it can be more expensive just like eating animal products can be more expensive how is that right first of all I'll get to that first of all let's be clear you have to eat plants you have to eat plants you, you'll be so sick of course I have plenty coming by hello how are you you have to eat plants, you, you, you don't have a choice. You'll be malnourished, you can't live without plant matter, right? So this isn't a choice, you, you absolutely have to eat plants. So um, you don't need animal products. You will thrive without animal products. Trust me, I know. You can look at the video, what happened to my body when I went vegan. <gasps> Ooh, although that's anecdotal because it's just me. The point being that um, you do not need animal products every science-based organization on the planet maintains that that's just that's just how it is it's it's a fallacy that you need them there's nothing in them you need so you need plants so when you go vegan you're just eating more plant matter and you're cutting out the animal matter that you totally didn't need in the first place um again not my opinion the entire scientific community backs me on that so uh, if you're claiming we need animal products you'd have to back that up and you don't have any way to back that up you just have the egg board doing their fake studies and then they, they fake studies like the tobacco industry did in the 60s they're faking studies um and along with the meat industry they're they're it's shady stuff if you watch the movie what the hell that being said we don't need them. So then you have to compare also apples to apples and oranges to oranges. So what people like to do is compare ready-made, ready to eat, you know, take it out of the freezer and put it in the microwave, vegan food to completely unprocessed or, uh, you know, not ready to be made animal products like raw eggs, for example, versus say, uh, you know, pre-prepped Boca patties, you know, or raw chicken versus pre-prepped, you know, uh, Morningstar products or you know whatever I'm not plugging any certain companies but the point being that you have to compare apples to apples and oranges to oranges so I did that I went online and I compared because I haven't bought like a pre-prepped breaded chicken patties ready to eat pre-cooked for so long I didn't remember what the hell they cost and lo and behold oh surprise surprise Pr you just look pr price per ounce it's between 30 cents and 45 cents an ounce for both vegan stuff vegan pre-prepped ready to eat patties and 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 flesh and secretion patties um, not to mention the the all the toxins and saturated fats and cholesterol involved so you know you have to uh, do apples to apples and oranges to oranges and I, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna entertain the people that say that potatoes and 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 beans just raw potatoes and beans, raw beans and rice and really and frozen vegetables at a dollar a bag. Like you're gonna claim that 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 that's expensive. Like you just you ever been to a store before? Like seriously, come on, really. Um, and now there are food deserts. So I think we should keep that in mind. There are people that live in food deserts. That's an area basically where people who are low income they can't get to the store. That's a separate problem. It's a problem. Um, I acknowledge that there's food deserts. It's a problem, um, but it's not. It's an unrelated problem. Well, it is a related problem, but it's not the same issue. It's a separate issue. Just like shipping food is a separate issue. People like to bring that one up. I can do a whole separate video on that. Oh well, vegans have, uh, you know, avocado shipped from far away. Like, get, get the hell out of here. It's a separate issue. Um, so, but sticking with the subject, the point being that. When you compare unprepared uh, animal products versus unprepared plant-based products, it's not a product, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing. And animal products are products. They're, they're, they're packaged up, dead rotting corpses that are packaged up for you. 
to look like something else. Yeah, we don't have to package up special and cover up plant matter, do we? Because it's not completely disturbing how it got there, right? So there's that. You don't get disturbed by potatoes because you know that just they're just potatoes. You just pull them out of the ground, it's potatoes. Um, so, you know, you have that factor. So, oh, and then, you know, years ago, back in the feudal days, you know who ate animal products and you know who didn't? Yeah, the peasants ate the plant matter and the kings ate the animal products, the kings, because it's very inefficient to produce animal products. And now everybody's living like kings. And it's so inefficient, destructive to the environment. It is uh, the number one cause of, of, of rainforest depletion, ocean dead zones, uh, and the list goes on. It's, it's hor horrific. Uh, the destruction that anim producing animal products causes because you have to feed the cows. So now you're using all the farmland to grow food to feed the cows. It's a separate video, but the point being that it's so inefficient to produce animal products too. But getting back to the subject, because I like to go off on tangents, um, you, you have that issue, right? The fact being that it's just not more expensive. It's not some luxurious lifestyle. And by the way, you don't have to eat out. So don't, don't get into the vegan restaurant thing either, because that's a luxury to eat out. That is luxurious. To eat out anywhere is luxury, okay? And if you want to eat out and you want to eat out on the cheap, let's face it, it's fast food. Well, Taco Bell has a vegan menu. So let's not pretend you can't go out and eat cheap, crappy food and be vegan. It's an ethical stand. It's not, a, it's not something with my health and my diet, no. Come on. Animals have moral value, right? You're against dog fighting, right? Okay, well if you're against dog fighting because animals have moral value and causing them unnecessary suffering is wrong, then you're morally required to go vegan. I'm not trying to be a dick and a, and a judgy. I'm judging actions. I'm not judging you personally. I'm sure you're a very good person. But I am judging actions in the sense that, you know, I did it too though. I did it too, right? So the fact is that when you look at apples to apples and oranges to oranges, just to sum this thing up, um, animal products are not cheaper. Um, they are, by the way, uh, subsidized more heavily. So when you, you do see, you will see uh, uh, anim, uh, cow's milk, for example, cheaper than plant-based milk. By the way, you can make soy milk yourself. Uh, you have to impregnate, forcibly impregnate a cow, have it in your backyard to make that yourself and then tear the baby away within a few days uh, while the mother screams. And you have to do that over and over again and keep impregnating them over and over until the bodies give out and then they go to the slaughterhouse. That's how you make cow's milk. Um, and so you can just like, uh, you know, put soy, soybeans in like a blender and then strain it and add some water and you have soy milk. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so that being said, yeah, every vegan laughs their face off when, when non-vegans who never live vegan in their lives tell us how expensive it is to be vegan. Yeah, you've never been vegan, you know, come on. Uh, what any vegan will tell you. Oh, by the way, some just some tips. I'm, I'm sounding like I'm coming off like a big dick in the video, and I apologize. Just some, uh, not trying to be, but it, I get frustrated because this stuff isn't true. It's these are just excuses. Um, some tips for you: um, seeds. You need to eat seeds. Seeds are amazing. Hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds, amazing. Get them online. Make sure the pumpkin seeds are um, the source them. Source them. There's a great one in Oregon wilderness something they they're organic grown in Oregon they're amazing uh, pumpkin seeds you buy them in bulk uh, online I buy two pound bags uh, last me for months I just have a little thing on the counter don't buy seeds at the store just they're they're a ripoff just buy big giant big giant bags one to two pound bags and put them in little dispensers on the counter and um, that's all you have to do uh, you, you buy in bulk you can make if you're on the cheap you can get raw beans in big giant bags and cook them and put them in the fridge beans and beans and beans are incredible for you um, there's so much research showing how healthy beans are if you hear beans are unhealthy they're full of crap um, there's a lot of science to back up that they're full of crap and that beans are actually really good for you uh, so to sum this up thanks for watching it's, it's a very long video I covered a bunch of things on it but the point being that no no Vegans are not some luxurious, oh, we're so rich and luxurious. No, you don't have to be rich to be vegan. It's actually cheaper to eat whole food plant-based than, than it is to eat a bunch of crap animal products, and you're going to be a lot healthier, uh, a lot healthier. I can't believe how good I feel. I'm 20 again. I'm out riding my bike, and I'm, I'm in my, I, I won't tell you how old I am, halfway to 90. Um, so, uh, yeah, I have so much energy now, and I didn't before. Before, before I went vegan, I didn't have the energy I have now. It's, I have so much energy now, uh, and my body's the best it's been in my entire life.
in my entire life. And I was on the captain of the wrestling team in high school. And I have the best body of my life when I'm middle-aged. And that didn't happen until I went vegan. Thanks for watching. Go vegan.